As well as helping us see the world from new perspectives, drones are having a huge impact on the way we live, work and play. But are you aware of just how much? We asked eight drone industry experts to tell us some of the most surprising ways that drones are being used to change the world we live in. Have a look and see if you knew about these. The coolest stuff's got to be swarm technology. These illuminated nighttime swarm displays, yeah. they are they are mind blowing. That's going to be impressive. I think they do look absolutely fantastic and the I can't believe the work that goes on behind those, you know, to make everything happen. There's a company over in Australia called Little Ripper. They actually trains the beach lifeguards to fly drones for shark patrols. Yeah, they've got an, an AI that selects sharks in the water, even mm. guesses what species as well. And all of that information is into an app for beachgoers mm -hmm. to check where's the closest shark to them. But also that information goes back to the lifeguards. If they can see a swimmer or a surfer, they can put out an announcement to warn that person as well. Personally, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the urban air mobility space. I think that some guys are making some incredible platforms and they're accelerating our sort of future. That is going to be enormously successful and exciting, I hope. One of the main advantages of this type of drone technology using FPV is that you're really able to be within the action. You can really fit through tight gaps, and get close to objects and, and really immerse yourself within the space. What we see from drones is the, the ability to operate safer, smarter, gathering better data and being more environmentally friendly. Of course, with reduced emissions is really important for a lot of our customers right now, but also the, the reduced uh, noise levels for people living close to the lines. Our main product from, from start out was uh, surveillance of trailer terminals. We have a problem in Denmark with illegal immigrants that wants to go actually to the UK. And one of the, the problems was that uh, people were hiding on top of trailers that we needed to put the drone in air. It needed to go there fast. We needed to use thermal cameras and optical cameras to make sure that nobody were on top of the trailers or had cut their way into the trailers. Yeah, we've been working in some smart city projects with Helsinki City. One of the big things here is after winter time, all the stones, all the kind of grit that has been helping on the roads, making sure that you don't have accidents, that all stays on the road when the snow goes away. So it's like a military operation for the cities to deal with all the cleaning. So they wanted to have drones follow you know, the whole work that was going on. So when they would do all the cleaning, we would fly the drone over and collect the data and deliver that to them. Currently, the, the main data we're collecting is sampling of behind ships. So we are trying to detect those who are not in compliance with the sulfur regulations, uh, the polluters basically. Marine littering is another area where the drones is relevant because vessels are not allowed to throw things in the, in the ocean, but nobody's been watching them in reality. So all of a sudden we can and we will. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest news from the world of connected vehicles and let us know in the comments the other amazing ways you've seen drones used.